Today I have day three of my advent spinning. So I thought that I would open it up with you guys. We have a community wide get together in just a few minutes. And so I thought, well, I'll open this up and see what I've got for today. And then I will uh, open up the Zoom meeting. So it's this gorgeous pink, very, very soft, subtle color. And a little bit of yellow in there. Really pretty. So I'm going to divide this in half again. I, I am going to pre-attenuate again. So pre-attenuating is where you pre-draft. And I will uh, put this actually today on my magic craft because I didn't quite get finished with my spin yesterday, which I wasn't surprised about. But I'm going to put this on my magic craft for today again. Uh, and I think actually I'll spin it all to one bobbin and do a center pull ball to ply and just compare the difference because uh, I am going to run out of bobbins if I am not careful. So I'm just going to go through, pre-attenuate this. The yellow in this actually matches my t-shirt that I'm wearing today. And uh, I'll get this ready for spinning. I've been playing around with spinning off the distaff. Um, I really like that I've got all of this fiber organized while I spin. I think it's a really lovely way to spin. And this is just an ounce of fiber for my day three of my advent spinning. But I loaded it all on and now I can just like sit here and spin. I don't have to stop. And I'm doing like a modified long draw. Um, it took me a while to kind of get the hang of spinning this way um, and having the fiber on the distaff. I don't think I necessarily have it all figured out or sort of know exactly what I'm doing by any stretch. And this is certainly just something that I'm figuring out. 25 days is a long time to play, though. I can probably figure it out. And have some sort of a method by by the end of it maybe <laughs> keyword maybe I had thought about just securing the dip staff somewhere on my body like in my pocket or under my thigh while I spin so that I could just handle the fiber but every time I tried something or every time I kind of stashed it somewhere or stuck it somewhere I found myself reaching for it and wanting to hold on to it so I just thought why fight it I'll just go with it and see sort of you know how that works out with this spin And as I've been playing with the fiber each day, I've settled into a nice rhythm with it. You can see yesterday spinning behind me there on my Lendrum. Yesterday kind of went a bit sideways for me, so I didn't get finished with day two. But day three is going well, so if I can uh, finish today spinning, then maybe I'll be able to... Uh, get a little bit more of day two done. I don't expect that I'll be able to keep up with this day after day. I think some days I will have to make up on other days. Just kind of the nature of the beast. The nature of life right now, I guess you could say. How's your advent going? How's your December going? I really enjoy this time of year. For just some thoughtfulness and quiet. I went on a lovely walk earlier today. I enjoy the, the quiet. And of course this year isn't really like other years because we are at home. We have been asked, there was another announcement yesterday, we've been asked to to continue to do what we're doing and to stay home. It's 
Something I like about the distaff spinning is actually the fact that all of your preloaded fiber you can load onto the distaff. Like I could have put probably two or three, three times the amount of fiber that's on here. So, you know, a good three or four ounces. Uh, and that just creates this lovely spinning time. Like in some ways you almost kind of have to set a timer and make yourself get up and move around because otherwise you could just sit here and spin and spin and spin and spin. With long draw, just a couple of uh, tips as I'm as I'm spinning. Uh, I personally don't like to do unsupported long draw where you're spinning like this and just allowing the twist to run up and you're pulling against the orifice of your wheel. I personally prefer to pinch and pull against my pinching fingers. That's just my own personal preference. I find I am much more consistent when I do that. And I do try to watch the number of fibers that are drafting forward and how much is sort of getting into the into the twist zone so that I can keep my singles relatively consistent. I'm spinning on my Magic Craft Suzy Pro. I do have it on the largest, on my highest ratio at 27 to 1. That's my where I kind of leave this wheel. I'm such a slow treadler. And uh, I actually took a little bit of video of my feet treadling on my Lendrum Saxony so that you guys could see just how slow I tend to treadle. I treadle just enough to keep the drive wheel. So that's the big wheel on your spinning wheel. I tend to treadle just fast enough to keep that wheel turning. So happy day three of December. I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon.